my name's Josh, and this uh, guy I'm, is... I'm Wes, or Matt. And we're from, we're from the Owls, uh, and we're playing at Fattest Butter 2012, uh, with the AU Review. There you go. Well, yeah. well, I suppose you should be welcoming us, though, well, to I, your hometown. I, I, yeah, I thought I'd change it up, you know. Yeah. How do you find Newcastle? I'm doing the interview here now. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't have been... The weather, how beautiful is the weather? Uh, he said it couldn't be better, the weather couldn't be better. Uh, it's pretty warm actually, it was on, on stage, it was quite warm. Our stage um, was on concrete. Yeah, yeah, didn't think that through. Um, <laughs> it was pretty warm. It was, it was pretty sweaty up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. Did the set go well? The set went uh, reasonably well. Um, I'm suffering from the flu at the moment. Um, so you, you cut your finger as well, didn't you? Or? Yeah, we were actually on our way to the Gold Coast last night. Um, and we had to stop halfway and drive back because I was just too sick and I was like, guys, uh, if we play this gig in the morning, I'm not going to be able to play the Gold Coast that night. So we cancelled the Gold Coast and here we are in all our glory. Fair enough. Well, you're um, at the tail end of your of your better off uh, death tour. How, Apart from the cancellation last night, how has the tour been going? Yeah, it's been, um, it's been good. It's, it's, it's a grindy tour, isn't it? It's been, um, it's been a slow progression pretty much um, over the last couple of months. Yeah. We've been touring it and yeah. um, it's, we, unless la, um, well, last night was the only hitch that we had, but um, other than that, it's been great. I think uh, it, it's to be expected with a band like us, we're reasonably new and uh, independent. So yeah, it's just been a, it's, it's been a, a learning curve, but it's been a good learning curve. Now the song itself, I mean, the best way to describe it is just good fucking rock and roll. Yeah. Is, is, are we going to get a lot of that on on Swamp Love? I would like to get some rock and roll in there, but I just don't. I don't like the idea of this cliche kind of pub rock rock and roll. So it's a very fine line, I think, what we're trying to do. We're trying to, I don't know how you put it, um, keep that rock element, but just try and be uh, keep that sort of fresh, artistic sort of sound to it as well. I mean, I think the best comparison to that sort of that, that aesthetic is probably the Desert Session. Yeah, be... yeah, yeah. It seems to come up a lot. Yeah, with all interviews, the Stone of Center, Stone of Rock, Queens of the Stone Age sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think we didn't deliberately go. We want to be Desert Rock, or we want to be like the Queens of the Stone Age. I guess it just went there because we all listened to the same sort of stuff, mm. and that's how it came about. It wasn't like we set out going right. We want to be fucking. I want to be Josh Holm, so I'm going to go for that look, you know, it just came out that way, yeah. Well, when it comes to uh, the Tin Shed sessions that, you know, the EPs yeah. come out of, yeah. tell us a little bit about that. We haven't actually called it officially the Tin Shed it's, uh, session, it's a bit of a mouthful anyway. Yeah, yeah it is, it is. It is. Um, it, it's literally like a, a two by three metre Tin Shed, um, which we recorded pretty much the whole um, EP on. Um, yeah. There. We, we spent a fair bit of money uh, recording in a, uh, a studio. Quite a, I took out a loan actually to do it, <laughs> which I haven't paid off yet. No, no, no. Um, but um, listened back to it and then we just said it's too polished, too clean, and it's not us. So we literally the next day went out and bought uh, 10 grand worth of gear from the music shop and just did it all in this fucking sweat box. And that's what we've got at the moment and it's a Swamp Love EP. That's exactly how I would describe Dirty, sweaty love. Not that there was any uh, sexual activity. No, uh, no, no. But, uh, the smells could have been like that, I guess, afterwards. <laughs> You'd know this. Um, we, we're looking to release at the, uh, the end of October. Um, we're still just finishing up our uh, Better Rock Death Tour. Um, our last show in that, or for that tour, is um, Oxford Art on the 4th. Um, of October, and then we're supporting British India and regular John, a couple of shows, and then we start the Swamp Love Tour in November. So, end of October, I'd say. No defined date yet, but it'll be around that time.